Now, the next thing that we need to look at in terms of supply and demand in an equilibrium is what happens when the price is either too high or too low. That can happen in a market. There's our equilibrium price. There's our equilibrium quantity. Now, that's the ideal price in the market. But what if your price, for some reason, is artificially high? How do we figure out what's going to happen in the market? Well, you take that price line and you follow it all the way across your graph. Where it hits your demand curve is your quantity demanded. Okay, remember each point on the demand curve represents quantity demanded at a given price. And then you continue to go across until it intersects your supply curve. That's your quantity supplied because every point on your supply curve represents a given quantity supplied at a given price. All right, so what do we have here? Quantity supplied is way out here. Quantity demanded is back here. We have a gap between those two things. If your quantity supplied is greater than your quantity demanded, that is a surplus. A surplus means that your price is too high. If your price is too high, then naturally, if the price is allowed to adjust based on market forces, you would expect that price to come down until it hits the equilibrium. Okay? So a surplus, price is too high, quantity supply greater than quantity, or I'm, yeah, quantity supply greater than quantity demanded, you'd expect downward pressure on price. That's another way you might see that expressed. So what happens if the price is too low? Rises. 